In the world of business and finance, the word unicorn means a privately held startup firm which has a value of over $1 billion. The word unicorn is mostly used in the venture capital industry and was initially popularized by venture capitalist Eileen Lee. According to the CB Insights, as of July 2022, there are more than 1,100 unicorns worldwide. Popular former unicorns include Airbnb, Facebook, and Google. Variants include a Decacorn, which is valued at more than $10 billion, and a Hectocorn, which is a company valued at more than $100 billion. So that's what a unicorn is, but in this video, we'll take a look at three Asian unicorns that have been trading lower of late. And the first company to take a look at is ByteDance, which is the developer of social networking services and video sharing apps such as TikTok and Doyen. ByteDance was founded by Zhang Yiming in March 2012 and is famous for its mobile applications having a major entertainment value. ByteDance's valuation fell by $100 billion in the past year, providing for a $300 billion valuation at present. The next company to take a look at is Shine, a global fashion and lifestyle e-retailer committed to making the beauty of fashion accessible to all. US is believed to be the biggest market and it also provides its services to European and Asia markets. However, curiously enough, it does not sell its product in China. According to a Bloomberg report, Shine's investors were considering cashing out ahead of the company's IPO, while private bids were 30% lower than its $100 billion valuation back in April. And the last company to take a look at is GoTo Group. GoTo Group is the largest digital ecosystem in Indonesia. GoTo aims to drive progress by offering technology infrastructure and solutions for everyone to access and thrive in the digital economy. PT Goto Gojek Tokopedia TBK posted a $1.54 billion net loss in 2021. Goto shares have declined almost 24% over the past six months, and it represents as good value for investors. So there you have it. That's what unicorn stocks are, and those are three unicorn stocks from Asia that are worth looking into. If you'd like us to take a look at other unicorn stocks in different markets, let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share the video. For more content, you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon. I'm James, reporting for Kalkine.